Hey there folks, it's Antar and today I'm bringing you another UU battle. This time my opponent is K. Rule Savage of Smogon, met him through the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Um, looking at his team, lots of big threats. Really was not expecting him to lead off with Houndoom as, you know, you can see that he's done just based on the size of the screen. So I lead off with my Mew. Um, I just figured I could set up rocks based on if anyone else had been out. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna want to switch out. I have no idea why I did this, but I was like, I think he's gonna go for a Fire Blast. And indeed he did. I'm like, yeah, that was an excellent prediction and I was pretty happy. So now he goes for a Sucker Punch, boosted by Dark Town. I'm like, oh, okay. And it kills me, and I'm like, holy crap, what the hell? So that crit mattered, uh, I've done the calcs, it'll be up in the annotations. That crit mattered, and it really, really screwed me over, because now I really don't know what I have to deal with this Houndoom. Um, had, uh, you know, had that not gotten a crit, I would have KO'd with a uh, close combat, or at least gotten him down to a focus sash. Oh, he wasn't not focus sash because it was a dark jump. Anyway. Um, unfortunately, I've lost my big fighting type stab, uh, and so this dubious, no, not fighting type stab, but fighting type move, and so now this, um, Porygon 2 is going to be a huge thorn in my side. Um, I do have Focus Punch on my Clank, and I'm just hoping that it'll be enough, but Clank does not have the firepower of a banded Arcanine, so, you know, we... Okay, so anyway, I go for the Focus Punch here. Um, I, I'm glad I was slower, even though he's running the Ice Beam, which, you know, I'm, Ice Beam did, what, about half? So that's the nice thing about Porygon 2. At least it's not very, you know, deadly. So I go for the Focus Punch, I'm like, come on, die, die, but Porygon 2 with an Eviolite is a bulky bastard. And that's the 2 kid KO. Maybe. So anyway, I think that he might, I was thinking he might go for the recover here, but I didn't want to risk it. And indeed, I'm so glad I switched. I'm so, so glad I switched. And I do send out Tux, my Empoleon, and I go for the Surf. Um, notice that Surf replaced Skull just for the higher base power, um, although it would have been nice to get the burn there. Um, anyway, he goes for the Discharge. Uh, that's going to get the Paralyze, and I'm like... What are you doing to me, Gabe? Why? Why? Because had he not gone for the Paralyze, I would have outspent and I would have killed, and it would have been great. But now, he's going to be able to recover on the Switch. Um, I figured there was no reason to stay in, because obviously he's going to go for the recover. I don't carry the Aqua Jet. Um, you know, four moves, lots of syndrome, hits, uh, and pull down like, well. Anyway, I go for the heal bell figure, why not? He goes for the toxic, um, and he says, why the hell did I toxic a mute? Why, why did I do that? And it, it's, it adds insult to injury that I have heal bell on this Mew. Um, so at any point I could just heal bell that away, but I figure, you know, there's other things I want to do, set up stealth rocks. Uh, at this point, poison's not doing that much damage. No reason to, um, you know heal bell off right away and this allows him to not get me paralyzed so okay i'm just gonna let him do it i'm um, gonna take some more damage from the poison he's gonna take a lot of damage from the poison i'm looking at his team and i see there's really no one who could possibly have aromatherapy or heal belt great situation for me anyway now out is going to come this um wow blanket on the name a scavalier uh yeah really can't do anything against the scavalier gonna need to switch out um, I really wish I had Arcanine, since Arcanine can usually, well, I get, what are they, no, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure Arcanine's almost always wall these guys, except for, you know, return, um, but, you know, Tuck should be able to wall him too, should be okay, he goes for the Iron Defense, kinda interesting, um, most of my remaining attackers are special, so really isn't gonna help him too much, uh, Empoleon, definitely a special attacker, gonna go for the Surf, uh, so, and I'm... So yeah, it's not really actually doing that much. Luckily his Mega Horn misses, so I get a bit of hacks back. A bit of hacks, but you know, meh. Uh, go for another Surf. Actually, I think, well, no, I mean, at that range of health, I don't think Torrent Range Surf would have killed him. Yeah, so now he goes for the Mega Horn. I'm just, come on, get me into Torrent Range, but don't kill me. And it pays off. I am down into Torrent Range, but he doesn't kill me. So I'm like, yes, now I can get a KO unless he switches out, but... Uh, well, actually, there are several Pokemon on his team who wouldn't mind taking a Surf, namely Sceptile and Rudigon. Um, yeah. So, I take out a Pokemon. Great for me. Now out is going to be Machamp. I'm thinking I outspeed because I'm an Agilipoleon, but I don't think I can KO. 
So I'm going to go ahead and send out Mew, who should be able to tank any hit from this guy. He goes for the Ice Punch. Uh, if only I'd stayed in. Um, so yeah, uh, I figure, okay, good situation for me. I can go for the Psychic, I can predict him to switch, and go for the Heal Bell or the Roost. Uh, indeed, he does switch, and I am almost positive that I predicted that. Indeed, I did, and I went for the Roost, thinking, uh, no recovery for me, and I'm just going to switch out the next turn. It's not really like it's worth my time to... Um, Heal Bell right now. The problem with running a cleric is that you gotta find the time to Heal Bell. You know, I mean, you gotta waste a turn Heal Belling. It's the same thing as having a, uh, you know, Stealth Rocker or whatever. Anyway, he goes for the Pursuit, um, and I'm like, so is this a physical set? Is that what's going on? But he had Fire Blast. I don't know. Anyway, did a shit ton of damage. Pardon my language. Uh, maybe I'll bleep that. Anyway, he goes for the Fire Blast here. I just needed to send out someone to get killed. I mean, no one on my team would have enjoyed taking really anything from him. Um, if only I'd known he was going for the pursuit. But anyway, now I send out Hugabug. I do the counts. I am faster. I am going to be faster. So now he's going to send out his um, his Porygon 2 uh, at that range of health. I'm thinking this is going to be an easy KO with Thunder. There was really no reason to go for anything but Thunder. Um, I mean, Bug Buzz has slightly higher accuracy and is also, you know, would have been neutral. But anyway, Thunder, yeah, KO'd. Uh, great for me. Now out is going to come his Machamp. And I'm thinking, okay, uh, switch out. Predicting the Stone Edge. Uh, Clank can take that. Clank can definitely take that because, you know, it's a Stone Edge. It's resisted. So he goes for the Stone Edge. I'm like, okay... And as you see, I take it quite well. It looks like I can take one more. I'm not going to be able to set up a sub, but I'm going to be able to at least get off a little bit of damage with Earthquake. So he goes for the Stone Edge again. And he gets a crit. Yeah. The Hax Gods are not loving me today. So I'm going to die to a Stone Edge. But hey, it looks like maybe he might be locked in. Otherwise, he would have swapped out moves. And so I'm like, okay, well, Mew should be able to take that. It's non-stab. I've got pretty good defenses. And he gets a second crit. I'm like, what? Seriously? I mean, I'm not expecting the miss because it's Machamp. it has got no guard, but I'm like, seriously? And now, so he's definitely locked in whatever's going on. I was really surprised he outsped. He must be Scarfed. Scarf Machamp. Okay, so anyway, takes out uh, Tux with a third crit, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon. Gonna go for the Thunder. It is not gonna KO. No way, no how. And even if it did, I don't think I could take on the rest of his team. And so now he's going to go for the Stone Edge. It doesn't even... It doesn't matter if it's a crit or not. By the way, it was. So four crits in a row. The last one didn't matter, whatever. But the chances of four crits in a row are 1 in 4,096. Yeah, that sucks. So long, folks.